Hey guys, I'm Comrade Turtle, and you are watching Turtle Time. Today, we are discussing what are original species. But before we dive into that topic, I got a new setup. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Alright, let's get into this. Original species are things that we in the fandom make. This could be anything really, but the point is, it's something that doesn't exist anywhere else in the world, but in here, our fandom. Oftentimes, it's taking a single real species and giving them a fantasy twist, such as a wolf growing mushrooms on its back. Others are more of a hybrid between two or more real species, like the jackal dial. What sets a jackal dial, which is a hybrid between a jackal and a crocodile, is the lore or background behind the species as a whole. Jackal dials created by Jai have a lore where they directly mention jackals, crocodiles, and jackal dials all as different species, making them uniquely unto themselves. According to the website Wikifer, original species are broken up broadly into two categories, closed and regulated. Regulated is further broken up into two subcategories, is that the majority of us in the fandom use. Open or semi-open. I'll get into each of these topics as we go on. We'll quote oh, with the simple one with closed. The closed original species are species that are still in the works of being made, are highly regulated, or is only meant to be for the creator themselves. An example of this would be the Primagen, created by Mouth Ritsu on Fur Affinity. Primagens are cyborg or kangaroos, and like their cousins, the protogens, also created by Mouth Ritsu, are larger, more amylistic, and generally more rare. Kind of like the caveman nowadays, too up to the normal human, or normal turtle, in my case. The primogens are highly regulated, where, to date, the only way the average Joe can get a hold of one is through an official auction. But be warned, these auctions can go up to a thousand dollars or higher even. And that should have to own a single character. Not counting, not counting any additional art you get commissioned from it, or even a fursuit. On the other end of the spectrum is regulated. Regulated that are generally free to make. You don't have to pay anyone to make one. Some you are required to follow strict guidelines and even register them to a database. The ones that are go wild, you don't have to do anything, are open. Those who are require you to register them to a website are semi-open, but by and large, they're perfectly fine to use. An example of a fully open species is the jackal doll, which I covered earlier. Another example would be the Dutch Angel Dragon, created by Eno, who is best known for their character Telephone, the first Dutch Angel Dragon. The Dutch Angel Dragons, or Dutchies for short, are a cross between a dragon, an angel, and a horse. Of course. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Now, you might be saying, alright, what makes these guys so popular? I honestly have no idea. But you go to any convention, fur meet, what have you, where people can dress up in their fursuits, you are guaranteed to see at least one running around at any given point. And considering that duchies have been around since, what, 2007? I'll put the correct date right over here, there when they were first introduced, or at least made public. You're going to see those guys around everywhere. I guarantee it. Heck, they even have 
free to use line art where you just have to print it out and fill in colors and patterns how you want them to be. Just credit the artist of the line art. And of course, register it to the website, a document database. Veggies are also completely asexual. So if you are the type that wants to have not safe for work content for all of your characters, the Dutch Angel Dragons are not for you, as it is uh, strictly against the rules to have that. Those that do publish them have to do it under a false Dutch Angel Dragon race. I'm not sure what it's called, I just know that those ones are not real Dutch Angel Dragons. We should come together and come up with a name for the ones that are involved with the adult side of these things. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Alright, I admit this was not the most thought out video or the most informative. But for those who have no idea what the original species are, I hope it helps. What are some of your favorite original species? Let me know in the comments. Otherwise, if you liked what you saw and want more of my content, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications when my next video airs. Leave a like or maybe a comment. Share this with friends, family, whoever. And I hope to see you all next time. Johnny. Shout out to Kenny Jack who replied on my last video. He's a furry YouTuber with a horror theme. Check him out if you have time. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Click the video on screen right now to check out another one of my videos. Until next time, Johnny.